Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And today we're continuing on with our Alphabet Soup Challenge, where yes. we play all of our games in our collection, A to Z, and see if there's any that we need to call. And just to kind of get games that way we haven't gotten off the shelf in a while, back off the shelf and onto the table. Yeah. Give them a try. See, see what we really think, so that we're ready for our top 50 games of all time. Yes. Uh, but yeah, in this letter we're going to be doing V, which... You can probably guess there's not that many V games in our no. collection. There's two, but I would say they're both pretty solid. Yeah. Um, yep. So, yeah, if you um, <coughs> like this type of series, definitely go check out our other videos. And then a uh, couple future ones as well, because yep. we're very close to finishing this yep. challenge up. Uh, but we'll just start it off right away with Viscounts of the West Kingdom. And this is the third in the West Kingdom trilogy from the Garfield Games. Uh... This one uh, comes after Architects of the West Kingdom, Ben Paladins yep. of the West Kingdom. It takes a different style, uh, and it's a rondelle type game with some um, kind of a deck building element to yep. it. Yep. Not building too big of a deck, not manipulating yeah. it too much, but there are ways to do that and create some interesting things. But this is one that was on our 10 by 10 challenge last year, so now it's finally getting played again. Uh, me and Michaela did a majority of those plays, and this one's just kind of grown for me with every single play. Uh, whereas one like Architects, I really, really <coughs> loved, and I still really like it a lot. Yep. But it kind of feels a little bit more repetitive, whereas this one I still feel like it's still fresh to me after all those plays. Mm. Yep. And it just, yeah, does those, I don't know, just does those unique things, and it's just satisfying every time. Even though you kind of do some of the similar yeah, I was things. I going to say, it does feel like you do pretty much all the same things every game mm -hmm. um, but it still is so satisfying especially that kind of center mm -hmm. castle area and just the exploding of um, your meeples in there and moving right. inward and getting even better benefits is just um, so satisfying one of maybe the most satisfying thing most rewarding thing in the series of games for me it probably is um, yeah. just love that part of the game mm -hmm. yeah I, I would say I, I love all the games in the series yeah. and this, this one could be my favorite game in the V's, but uh, there's another one that I think just yep. tops it out slightly. Uh, but no, this one's a definitely a solid one. Definitely yep. check it out if you like the other Garfield games. Sure. Uh, even like the Raiders of the North yep. Sea or Raiders of Scythia or Hadrian's Wall. Uh, same company. They'd, every game they do, I think, feels... Yeah. It somehow feels similar, but it's different. Yeah. It still... Yeah. It, yeah. I, I really love the game. So, staying in the collection. Staying in the collection, yes. and this one will be as well. Uh, this one is not so fast. What? <laughs> well, this box may not need to because uh, we this one's Viticulture, and earlier this year there was an expansion to this one uh, coming quite a bit after its yeah. initial release. Uh, I kind of thought maybe the Viticulture world had been kind of explored to yep. uh, with their the couple smaller expansion the Tuscany expansion you thought the viticulture world had been explored but then came viticulture world <laughs> then came explore. viticulture world to actually explore old viticulture because uh, yeah this it, uh, they did a cooperative mode it was yep. designed um, I think I don't think Jamie designed it there was a couple people that kind of had the idea I think on board game geek and he saw it and then helped develop it into an actual expansion yep. i think the base game of viticulture is still required to play it because yep. it uses a lot of the same or uses all the same bits and boards yeah. and stuff so you still need that but they do kind of feel like two different games yeah though it it actually works quite a bit and it's really gotten me to want to play more viticulture because mm, yep. i want to try out all of those worlds oh, uh, yep. or not worlds <laughs> different yeah. countries uh, is kind of what it's split into just because each one kind of gets more challenging than the last and i just want to try that experience because yeah. i really love viticulture but now um uh, now we can play it where either everyone wins or everyone loses yeah. and you're kind of using cards to work together as opposed yeah. to kind of benefit off your opponents in a yeah. typical game so it's really a really a cool um new feel to it brings a another new feel to a classic worker placement game yeah. and has a very classic worker placement feel and i've always said that this is the farming game to me yeah yeah i've always loved well i mean you probably know it's been a roller coaster for me my viticulture journey um but i i do really love the kind of core system of it and 
like you said, with that new expansion and having cooperative play actually really work well, I'd mm-hmm. say, um, in such a just Euro game, which it just doesn't feel like it should, right. um, it's just breathed a lot of life and excitement into the game for me. And mm-hmm. I would say this is my favorite uh, V game. Even though yeah, Vicounts, yeah, I, I really, really do love Vicounts as well. Yeah, I would agree. This one still my favorite, but they're both re- two really solid games to me as well. And if you want to see more content on this one, earlier this year we did a whole month dedicated to Stonemeyer games, and we did a few vid- videos on Viticulture and Viticulture World, so mm-hmm. you can check those ones out. But yeah, otherwise those are the only two V games we have in our collection. I think they're all stained. Uh, yep. And I think, yeah, did Michaela say this one was her favorite? Uh, they kind of tied. Um, she said both, or yeah. all of them. And yeah. she does. We like, all really she does like, like both, both of these quite a so. bit. Um, yeah. Popular letter. Very popular letter. In the Valentine house. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any V games that you think we should explore, let us know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, we hope to see you on our other Alphabet Soup videos. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our videos.